Earth Science Bodies of Water What are bodies of water? Bodies of water are natural water features of the Earth's surface. Let's learn about some different bodies of water. Lake A lake is a large body of water that is surrounded by land. A lake forms when a basin is filled with water. The water is usually very still and calm. Most lakes are fresh water, but some are salt water. There are 117 million lakes on Earth. Lakes can dry up and disappear, and new lakes can form from excess rain or melting ice. River A river is a large, natural flow of water that crosses an area of land. Most rivers have fresh water. Rivers carry rainwater and melted snow and ice down mountains and hills into other rivers, lakes, oceans, or other bodies of water. The water in rivers is always moving. The start of a river is called the source. The end of a river is called the mouth. Strait. A strait is a narrow passage of water that connects two larger bodies of water. Straits often connect two seas together. Straits can form when the land cracks apart or when a larger body of water overflows onto a low area of land, connecting itself to another body of water. Bay. A bay is a large body of water partly surrounded by land. It is connected to another body of water, such as an ocean, sea, or even another bay. Bays are usually a mix of salt water and fresh water. This is called brackish water. The water in a bay is usually much calmer than an ocean or a sea. Inlet An inlet is a narrow body of water that goes into the land from a sea, lake, bay, or other body of water. Inlets are usually very narrow and are like little arms of a larger body of water. Inlets are often created from a storm surge from a hurricane or tsunami. Waterfall A waterfall is an area in a stream or river where running water falls down from a high place such as a cliff. Waterfalls often form near the source or start of a river. Waterfalls can be created from erosion, earthquakes, landslides, glaciers, or volcanoes. There are many different types of waterfalls. Some have very fast moving water and some have slower moving water. Now you have learned about several different bodies of water. Can you remember the difference between them? What was your favorite? Do you think you can recognize a body of water the next time you see one? Give it a try and enjoy the beauty that nature provides.